Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you a few easy ways to fix the volume mixer if it's not saving any settings on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Audio Troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure that system is selected on the left pane and then on the right side make sure to scroll down and click on the troubleshoot category. Now in here click on other troubleshooters and the last thing you have to do is select the run button next to playing audio. Windows will now try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. You can then close these windows, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update, roll back or uninstall the audio driver. To do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now, in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand Sound, Video and Game Controllers and then right click the problematic device and select the Properties option. Now click on the Driver tab and as you can see, there's multiple options to play with in this window. The first one we will select is Update Driver. Now from here on click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. Otherwise if this method doesn't work properly you can also roll back your driver if the current driver is not working properly. So click on this button and then restart your computer and you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly you also have the uninstall device option which you can click on and then the last thing you have to do is tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device then once again confirm by pressing the uninstall button. Now the last thing you have to do is restart your computer and you will see that Windows will automatically reinstall the driver for your audio device and then you can check if the issue still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to allow the applications to take exclusive control of this device. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then type in SNDVOL and then select it as a run command. So what you have to do is click on the device in here and make sure that in the line properties or device properties you click on the advanced tab. And as you can see in the exclusive mode category make sure to tick the boxes for both allow applications to take exclusive control of this device and as well give exclusive mode applications priority. The last thing you have to do is click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another great solution is to simply repair the corrupted system files. To do this press the windows button then type in cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here in the command prompt window make sure to type in the following command and then press enter after this command. Note that this can take a bit of time because the scan is quite thorough and then as soon as it's finished you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.